The Israeli army has admitted to increasing the use of, quote, GPS jamming in the region in an attempt to counter drone attacks by Hamas and Hezbollah. These interferences have consequences for flights to and from Israel. They also have an impact on the daily lives of Israelis. To talk more about it, let's bring in our science and tech editor, Julia Seeger. Um, Julia, welcome. Did, did Hamas use drones? Uh, Hamas used drones, right, during the, the 7th, uh, October 7th attack to observe and, and, and target Israeli firing positions, uh, didn't they? They used they drone did. technology. They, they did indeed. They used drones uh, uh, along the Gaza border, but now Israel is really looking to the north to Hezbollah because they happen to have a uh, more advanced fleet of unmanned aircrafts. Now, what's interesting is that the Israeli newspaper Haaretz uh, revealed this morning that the Israeli army has confirmed that it is not only using, but it ramped up the use of so-called GPS jamming, as you said, and particularly to counter those drone attacks. Now, how does it actually work? Well, a GPS receiver, let it be on a cell phone, on a ship, or a uh, uh, on an aircraft is going to actually receive simultaneously, and we have a, a diagram that we can maybe uh, take a look at, but it's going to receive simultaneously these signals coming from satellites in space. Um, and thanks to those signals, it's then going to be able to calculate uh, its exact location and also its altitude, and that's going to help it then be able to identify the target or the location it's trying to, to reach. Now, uh, of course, you can jam that signal thanks to what we call a GPS jammer. So what does it actually look like? It's a really small device. And once again, we're going to be able to see uh, one of them. And uh, what it does is gonna, it's going to emit a white uh, signal radio wave, if you will, and that's going to jam the signal altogether, or it's going to send a false information to the GPS, and that's really important. But So these jammers are going to help counter uh, drone attacks, but it's also going to have an impact on any application using geolocalization, like Waze, for instance, but also, more importantly, the Israeli army's app called the Home Front Command, which actually provides missile warnings to Israelis based on the location of their phones. Now, Israel has admitted to the fact um, that it used GPS jammers. The fact that they're admitting this is, is, is quite significant, uh, because over the past few years, there has been a a steady increase in these GPS jammers exactly. disrupting the entire region, actually. Exactly. For several years now, I'd say since 2019, pilots uh, who are flying over the Middle East, more specifically Syria, of course, but also Turkey and Israel, are saying that their GPS systems are displaying incorrect positions or are not working at all. And all of this disruption actually started right after a very significant drone suicide attack on a Russian base in Syria. And that's when Sy uh, Israel started saying that it was all also seeing uh, aerial spaces, and they started saying that it was because the Russians were using GPS jamming in Syria and that it was having repercussions in the entire region. Now, the Kremlin has denied those allegations, but then scientists in the United States were able from space to detect and locate this jamming signal, and they did locate it on a base, uh, a Russian base in Syria. The same thing, exact same thing happened uh, just a few days ago when uh, scientists in the United States were able to locate this time in uh, Israel, a huge, a powerful GPS jammer located this time in the north of Israel. So this is really the proof that Israel, not only now, but was already using uh, this, this technique of GPS jamming. What other countries uh, use it? Is it is it just in the region? Or? Well, we know that it's being used more and more. At least we're seeing more disruption uh, across the world. Russia is accused of doing what we call GPS jamming, but also GPS spoofing. So this is when you send a, 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 a wrong information. Uh, so you're going to, for instance, uh, uh, get rid, destroy air defenses like that. Uh, uh, also, Syria has accused Israel of doing uh, the same thing. And this is actually something that is part of what we call uh, the electronic warfare. Uh, it's a cyber weapon, but it's being more used and used. And one last thing here, you're seeing GLONASS. GLONASS, uh, the reason why Russians are also using this technique is because they don't actually depend, rely on GPS satellite for navigation. They have their very own system. So when they disrupt it in a region, it doesn't affect them when it comes to navigation. Right, so then they're protected from their own disruptors. Thank you so much, Julia Seeger, for that uh, that's a segment on uh, science.